So, folks, after the wild swings over the last five sessions, investors are hoping for equilibrium. The thing is, when the market is at all-time highs and it begins to sway side to side, it feels like an aircraft carrier swaying side to side. It's scary and it's epic. Even trading before today was wild. It was all over the place. So uh, is this a session where maybe we can finally get some equilibrium to this market? And if so, what's next? Here's the thing, Ryan. You've been like Cool Hand Luke, right? All year long, every time we bring you on, you've been okay with these wild gyrations. You never really got flustered. Has the last five days, though, has that altered your thinking at all? I mean, maybe a little bit of heartburn if we're going to use that uh, digestion analogy. And I like to be called Cool Hand Luke, just like Paul Newman. Thank you. Um, no, look, I think, you know, I agree. Perfectly normal to get a sell off here. But I think also bull markets don't let you in. And this is one of those opportunities that you can actually deploy, deploy some capital. And I just love the fact, Charles, if you start looking at like those cyclicals, you know, we talked a lot about like financials, materials, industrials, they only went down like one, two percent while tech went down like 10, 11 percent. So I think that diversification here is key. And I know you, Charles, I right. see you in those, those right. beautiful suits. You love a discount. If you see a suit on sale, you're going to buy it. Um, and I think that's what you're seeing yeah, here right now. I, you know, you're seeing a lot of good value. I just talked about shopping at Century 21. For those who've never been there, it was like the best place to find any bargains back in the 1980s, for sure. But I want to discuss where this market could be a year from now, one year from now after the math, aftermath of the fastest correction in NASDAQ history. Ryan, the 10 fastest pullbacks in history, in NASDAQ history, uh, have seen that the market, the NASDAQ is up 90% of the time, only once was it down, for median gain of 32%. Uh, can history repeat itself? I'm talking if you held yeah. on from now to one year from now, would you be okay? Yeah, I think you will. I think tech, I don't know. I think it's a 50-50 game there. Tech is definitely overvalued. I mean, you have literally the tech sector in the U.S. is worth more than the entire European stock market. That's insane. So if you held look the, the NASDAQ market, right now and one year from now, would you be okay? <laughs> That's all I'm asking is if you held on to your NASDAQ stocks in general, one year from now, are you comfortable with that? Based on history saying that most of the time, 99% of the time it goes up. I would be bearish on the Nasdaq and bullish on the rest of the market. And hopefully I'm wearing a, a better, good-looking suit like you next year when we talk about it.